Alright, so uh, this, uh, this episode review is coming out a little bit later than I would rather want it to, but it's whatever, this has kind of a been a consistent thing over the past couple weeks, so let's just get into actually talking about the episode, and god damn it, I really wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, and to appreciate what the episode did as much as I thought I was going to, and for once for you know for, after a really long time an episode of Boruto has made me super excited number 1 and number 2 has actually had good writing and very consistent writing and that's really good that's an incredibly good thing and i hope that this continues on more and more as the you know this arc continues and as the series continues and if it doesn't i'm going to be really upset <laughs> So let's talk about the beginning of the episode. The beginning of the episode starts off with pretty much what we saw in the previews. It's going to be Boruto and Naruto, and they're going to be trying to combine, you know, a jutsu or their chakra natures together so they can create some ulti ultimate jutsu Rasengan thing. And it's going to be obvious that it's a Rasengan and they have to combine their chakra natures together. But the way that they do this in terms of the writing and, you know, the way the characters interact is super smart because... Jiraiya is really well at being able to get intel. I mean, he snuck into the Hidden Rain Village when no one else was able to, and he was able to pick up very quickly that, you know, Pain and Conan had, you know, were there, and they were extremely powerful, and et cetera, et cetera. He's incredibly good at, you know, picking up information wherever he goes. He's, you know, he's, he's just super good at it. If you watch Naruto, you obviously know that, and... Just solely based off just seeing the interactions of Boruto and Naruto in the previous episode, he was able to clearly pick up very quickly that Boruto and Naruto have very similar chakra natures. And so he's doing because of, and because of that, he's now going to have the two of them try to combine their chakra natures together, like I said, to create some ultimate jutsu. But knowing that it wasn't going to work because of how, you know, different but similar the two, the two characters are, it's going to create a divergence between the two of them. And especially because one of the things that I think the episode does really well as well is the fact that it shows that Boruto, you know, suffers through minor PTSD because of what happened in the previous episode where Naruto, you know, lost control and uh, the QB uh, cloak had completely, you know, took control of him. The Nine Tails chakra took control of him. Uh, Naruto lost control, and then he retaliated. He retaliated back uh, after, you know, uh, Boruto tried to, you know, settle things down by talking to them. And this is a good learning experience for Boruto because now he's going to realize that not every situation is going to be able to end just by talking to one another. Sometimes you have to you have to force your hand in order to actually have a situation be accomplished the way that it does. And by Boruto learning this, he's going to eventually you know use this later on down the line in the show, and he's going to th therefore learn more about Naruto and his life. And he learns more about Naruto and his life in this episode as well because. Like I said, he has, you know, minor PTSD in this episode. He's still significantly affected by seeing his father act like the way that he did with the QB cloak surrounding him like the way they did it and him acting like the way that he did. He decides that they should take a little bit of a break before they try to combine their chakra natures again. So he leaves, Borto leaves, and he goes and is just walking in the village by himself and then runs into Neji and Hinata. He doesn't talk to Hinata, but he actually talks to Neji. And this was the thing that I really wanted to see two episodes back. I really fucking wanted to see Boruto interact with his with his uncle Neji, and it finally fucking happened. And by Boruto interacting with Neji in this episode, not only did not do only bleh. Not only did I get what I really wanted to see, just the interaction between those two characters at all, but Naruto is also able to progress further as a character, learn something from it, and learn more about his father, and he'll be able to then take that further on down the load, uh, load road and you know progress further as a character. This episode showed much character progression for Boruto, and it's absolutely fantastic because... 
Um, not only did Boruto get to learn more about you know Naruto's life in general, but he also learned how Naruto affected others around him, and it's just it's insanely good writing. You have to watch the episode for yourself, and if you know the context of the previous two series, Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, it's so impactful. It's such an amazing scene, and I think the writing for this episode and for that scene in particular as well was absolutely well done. All the meanwhile, as that's going on with Boruto and Naruto, and you know Boruto then leaving and learning more and talking to Neji, Jiraiya this whole time has been trying to gather in more intel, obviously. And so what he's trying to do is that he's trying to gather in more intel about Sasuke. He doesn't know that it's Sasuke, but he's trying to figure something out, and he had a plan from the start. So he leaves, he's just, he's spying on him, he's, you know, just picking up certain things about Sasuke from a distance. And then he tells, later on in the episode, he tells Sasuke to... Uh, take lunch or dinner or whatever to, you know, Boruto and Naruto so that way they can, you know, obviously eat. And Jiraiya is still watching over him. He's, you know, he's still watching the interaction between the two of them. And we get the scene where I also really wanted to see, and it's adult Sasuke with the memories of what happened after Sasuke left the village. And, you know, and, and the stuff that happened in the war arc and, uh, after they met, like, three years after Sasuke had abandoned the village, and just all that. And then also getting, and Sasuke, you know, also learning and, you know, you know, knowing the fact that Naruto's emotions and thoughts and feelings, uh, throughout all that time period. Sasuke has all that knowledge ahead of time, and he's interacting with, you know, kid naruto and he's starting to interact with him and he's just being incredibly nice to naruto and it obviously we know why that's the case is because excuse me naruto and sasuke are best friends and so it would just be weird for sasuke to not act you know friendly towards naruto it would just be really weird for sasuke because of how the relationship is in the future and so he then tells, you know, their story. He tells the story about how Sasuke had abandoned the village, you know, you know, saying that it's just his friend or it's someone else, and that all he was seeking was power, and the only way that he was only going to be able to get that power was by severing the bonds of everyone else, and that he was able to finally come back and he was saved because one person was able to not give up on him. And that encourages Naruto to then not give up. And he starts getting pumped up. He's getting you know excited. And he's ready to go and start you know training again. So he can go save Sasuke. And it all comes full circle. And Naruto doesn't realize that it's Sasuke telling their story. And then of course because of that interaction with Sasuke and Kid Naruto. Jiraiya then confronts him. And he says are you Sasuke Uchiha? Because... You know, why else would Sasuke, in disguise, be so friendly towards someone he doesn't know? Probably because he does know him and that he's Sasuke from the future. And I don't know how the fuck Jiraiya was able to even get the idea that he's possibly Sasuke at all, but... Fucking Christ, this was incredibly smart. And then, just... I, I don't. I, I had no idea really what else to say to that. It was incredibly smart. It it surprised me and it threw me off because I, I, I just I, I don't know. Just it it surprised me and I still kind of had a big reaction to that regardless. And man, this episode was just in, incredible. I I haven't been this excited about a Boruto episode in such a long time. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we finally got another episode that was ugh, extremely consistent with its writing, with its tone, with its char characters, its narrative, and the point of the episode and what it was trying to do and its purpose and why it exists. And it gave me everything that I wanted to see. And man, I just really enjoyed this episode. And... This is really solidifying the idea that this is definitely one of the best arcs in Boruto, uh, just period. This is one of the best arcs that Boruto's ever had, and I am ready to see more, but unfortunately we're not going to have an episode next week, and I'm extremely disappointed because it ends off in a cliffhanger, and we're not going to be able to figure out you know, what Sasuke is going to say afterwards, what's going to happen between Boruto and Naruto, until... The next week, you know, the week after next week, uh, next Sunday, rather, and that's incredibly disappointing, and so, 
I'm going to have to figure out a different video for when that, you know, when Sunday comes back around. So I'll figure out what to do, I guess. So that's pretty much the episode. And before I actually end off the video as well, there was a moment where Sakura interacts with Sasuke again. And Sasuke drops uh, the note that Sarada had left him and Sakura reads it. And so that means that she's probably going to get an idea of maybe this is Sasuke somehow. And she's going to try to get in info and intel like Jiraiya was doing. So it's definitely going to be very interesting. I don't know what the hell is going to happen. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm very excited. You know, it's, you know, Boruto, you know, still has its inconsistencies by nerfing Sasuke to the fucking ground but they do that for a narrative reason I guess and I guess I can't really fault it even though it's still annoying but that's besides the point this episode was incredibly incredibly good I enjoyed it immensely and if you haven't seen it already then go and watch it because it's it's incredible this this episode got me super excited and Borza hasn't done that in a very long time so, anyways, that's pretty much the video, and that's the review for the episode. If you did enjoy it for whatever reason, be sure to leave a like. And if you aren't subscribed for more videos just like this, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to try to get two videos up by tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday, so if you're seeing this on Monday, then you're seeing this on Monday. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Fantastic day. I'm out. Peace. Let the